want this to turn into an ASMR kind of season thing. one. Damn, where'd you get? Oh, there's a season seven. Uh, this yeah. is this is actually um, it's a T-shirt from uh, a streetwear brand called End After, okay. and after I think it's called End After That. Mm. Okay. Uh, this guy that takes like um, he he I think based this design on an actual production team design. Oh, okay. for for season seven, seven okay. of Seinfeld. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and um, he he did the same thing with um, I think when Harry met Sally. Nice. Mm. He also has a T-shirt that when Harry met Sally, and there's like other T-shirts that he's he's based the designs on actual productions that happen. Nice. So, yeah. Is that the best season? Uh, Feels no. like the best season. No, four I think is the best season. Four. Agreed upon internationally. Yes. Mm. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That early? Mm-hmm. So just rode off after. because because here's the thing Coasted after off. after four, they started having the pressure of 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 making numbers, because up until four they were below the radar. Basically, yeah, it wasn't about competition. Exactly, there was there was no competition, and they found themselves at the forefront of all the the sitcoms on TV, because I think. They were only competing with Frasier at some point. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and in in on NBC, they had no other no other competitor in that slot. True, uh, something got canceled uh, during yeah. that time too. I'm yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. remember what it was. Was it Mash? Friends was on. Maybe Mash. I no, Mash. Friends. No, Friends, no, 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 Fr- no. Friends, Friends came, came after. after, but like it was. I uh, just started. It was quiet yes. until yeah. Seinfeld got off the air. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah, became yeah. the main thing. Exactly, exactly. But with Seinfeld, because. Um, they were they were under the radar basically because NBC didn't have anything to fill that slot except for Seinfeld. They're like, fine, we'll go with this show about. Nothing. We'll just we'll just go with this for now mm. and see how it goes. And uh, the numbers they were making at first weren't completely underwhelming, and then they picked up for some reason. They found their niche audience, and their, that niche audience made them the number one show at some point. They dominated, bro. They did. They dominated, and and the beautiful thing is they dominated being the show about nothing. But there yeah. was there was honestly nothing else like it. Like the the type of comedy they were doing, the fact that you hated everybody because everybody was like a dick. At some yeah, because yeah. you know it's that it's fresh, it's different. It's but new. it was also like everyday New York, so it kind of made sense to you. Everyday New York, um, I think also because Larry David was pretty much, you know, like uh, on top of his game at that point. Mm. Yeah. And then he left, uh, I think he left the team around season seven, actually. Season seven, season eight, he left uh, because he got bored with the whole show. It's so, all Larry David. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's Larry David. <laughs> like, I'm done. And right, then he came you. back. I'm moving on now. I, he came back for the finale um, where, you know, the... The yeah, characters yeah. go to jail and then they're yeah. dancing on the way out. And spoilers for yeah. spoilers. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> spoilers. If you haven't seen this 23 year old show, <laughs> exactly. 23. You know. Exactly. Yeah. If 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 you haven't seen the show, you deserve spoilers. Yes, yeah. you do. But yeah. that final was so underwhelming, also. Yes, it was. Because I, I, I lived it. I was there. Yeah. It was, was, it mo- was it a moment? You, Adel? you want to know how big of a deal it was? Oh, really? It was in town square playing on oh, all wow. the screens. Oh, yeah. wow. That's how big of a deal it yeah. was. You're kidding me. And people were actually watching it. Yeah, it wasn't. It was no to be the final of, like of, of life so people so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. in so, new york basically. yeah so when when it finished like they were like in jail like, i was like the fuck is this yeah. <laughs> what most, am i watching most finales are underwhelming except for maybe breaking bad breaking bad is the yeah. only one that breaking bad had a great finale that's that's the only finale that i can Sopranos think of was, had a great finale uh yes yes yeah but like yeah. breaking bad was definitely perfect the tying perfect all the knots yes making yes. sure that everything is closed with you have no other fucking questions exactly Exactly. It's nice to have a spectrum with that and Game of Thrones being on the other end of the shit show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the spectrum. Like, what the fuck? Game of Thrones like, what the hell was this that? This is what I wasted seven years for. And uh, this, 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 like, man managed to, like, skip through the whole thing and just laughed at us all the way at yes. the end. I came, like, there was, like, two episodes left for the finale. Okay. I came out like, I'm going to start watching now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and it was for, literally downhill. For like two weeks. Like all the Here's way. the thing. The beautiful thing about the way I watched Game of Thrones is because Shamsi read all the books. Twice. It's like he knows the inside and out. So he knows what's missing. He can fill in the blank for me. I am that me. geek. Yes. Wow. You never knew that. Uh, are you a, a Harry Potter fan by any yes. chance? Yes. You read, you read the books too? Yes. You have no life. I, no, I, I was <laughs> yeah, I, at all. I had big glasses as a child. Yes. Oh. yes. Yeah, I had big glasses. I still had a life. 
I mean, but, no, but see, when he was in college, that's all he did. Like, well, I, I, would I, come think, in. I think he wasn't bullied enough. That's that's like, what it was. I mean, see, this is see. why I exist. Okay, okay? <laughs> I came too late, but yes. this is why I exist. <laughs> the universe managed to manage to provide them, you know, yes. every opportunity. This is what you needed in life, yeah, Shamsi. Exactly. <laughs> Here's this asshole. Now I pop up. <laughs> uh, so if Do you like football? <laughs> <laughs> Video games? Can we, can we agree on something at least? Have you seen? Uh, uh, have Have you played the the PlayStation game? No, the Hogwarts. I, I, Legacy game. I am, Everybody's I am. saying it's great. It's amazing. Yeah, I have it. It's, yet, it's, so I'm it's if you're a Harry Potter fan, it's amazing. Yeah. I am one of those unusual people that do not have a PS5. Okay. I'm telling you, not bullied enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not bullied yeah. enough. Yeah, see. <laughs> At all. It goes back to that. Like, back that's to why that. he was reading these thick ass yeah. books the whole time. Because yeah. <laughs> he had no PlayStation. Yeah. It was only his form of entertainment. I mean, have you read the Lord of the Rings books too? Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> no joke. When I was 12. Have you read Benat <laughs> Yes. yes. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Have you read Ahlam <laughs> Mustaghani? No. Al Aswad Yaliqo Mik? No. See, actually, that's, that's where I actually stop. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the light. That, that was the light. Yeah, that was light reading. I didn't yeah. like it so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I need to look for a copy. Oh, no, she has a huge fucking library at home. And football. He likes to read. Yeah, those are the things. That, and history. Yeah. And like, history. do you know what not, what <laughs> they used to eat for lunch? Champs has a whole book about that. Mm. There's pages. You, you know, there's there's a YouTube channel you definitely subscribe to. It's we. It's called. Um, Weird history food, or something like that. <laughs> okay, I would actually what? watch that. It's amazing. <laughs> like that actually sounds like why Burger King succeeded at some point. No, no, that's not weird. What's enough. the difference between that and no? Even like okay, okay. Watch, There's, watch, watch. Turks literally go somewhere right now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, they have a whole episode about like how, like what kind of drinks they used to drink back in the day okay. to get fucked up. Okay. Like, uh, 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 you know, certain cocktails that th that were, you know, uh, popular made in certain from, time periods. Made from goats and and, and yeah, like basically. you know stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Dude, slider. Okay, they got like the everything. everything. Yeah, There's a fifty-one everything. video playlist. That's the history of cheese. <laughs> yes. Oh I shit! Fucking so, love yes. this. Yes. I that love is, this. Yes. Not even it's, 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 it's it's amazing. Thank you. For sharing. Oh, Dirks okay. are actually food <laughs> and, and, you know, other things. Uh, believe it or not, they have even like um, one of the most interesting episodes that I've that I've watched that that's on the channel is like old school snacks. Okay. Oh, like okay. Um, how Tootsie Rolls got to be popular. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, like Twinkies, what made them popular, mm. how they, be, you know, Pop-Tarts, stuff like that. Nice. Uh, that's just interesting. I like it. We like yeah, food. That's that, one of the things we like here. So back in the 90s, when I was a young child, if you ate a Twinkie in public, mm. oh, <laughs> that next day in school is going to be wild for you. What's wrong uh, with it's, eating it's, a Twinkie? It's, it's, exactly. It's, uh, that's why I wish uh, you grew up with me. You would have became yeah, a better man. It's a minefield. <laughs> it's a minefield. It's just it like eating yeah. the the one real ice cream from McDonald's. Yeah. Same thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sir. yeah. You get into a certain category. <laughs> Is that how we eat a Twinkie? <laughs> yes, sir. No. no, the no, Twinkie, no. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's what you do to get a promotion, champs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my job? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be good at it. Uh, uh, okay. Jim, before we started, Shamsi was asking Turks if he knew a neck guy. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he wants a neck job. I, yeah. no, I want a neck person that can fix my neck because mm. my neck is not right. Anyway, yeah, the disclaimers are not helping. We, we took too long. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I'm, I was actually wondering about that if we were still on. Oh, we're not on. We're not. We've never been on. We're getting the hell is that? Hey. Hey. Anyway, where, where am I right here? I'm um, somewhere right here. Hey, welcome, Pastor Captain. It's your boy. I had the what's happening was popping episode 201. We are celebrating. No, we're not. <laughs> we didn't even celebrate 200. No, we, didn't. we didn't even care. Yes. I got the homie Turks right behind Yo. me somewhere. I got yeah. Chancellor right behind Yo. me. He's also somewhere else. And I'm trying to watch a game right here. And today we have a special guest. He's been uh, funny. He's been a writer. He's been controversial. He's been an idiot on TV. He's been everything mm -hmm. and all the above. Yep. He's an actor. He's a comedian. He's 100% uh, Saudi at the end of the day. The one and only fan of Teddy. What's mm -hmm. happening, buddy? What's hey. happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Mm -hmm. See, we, we give no cops out here. We don't no. really care. No, 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 <laughs> we, we don't care. Give you A's. And look, I'm going to tell you this. This is how we're going to start, son. Something I need to get off my chest. Go ahead. 
back in like 2011. Here it comes. Or Jesus. 2012. Oh, you went way back. Yeah, way back. Okay. There was an earthquake in Virginia. Okay. It was a slight earthquake. Okay. You were reporting on it on Twitter. Okay. And probably because I had nothing better to do. Yeah, well, oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> You're reporting on it. On, the only thing that happened in Virginia at that time was a chair fell over. Okay. <laughs> 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 it wasn't even an earthquake. And having boys that live in Virginia, I'm like, yo, are y'all dying? They're like, bro, like, it was nothing. None, none of us felt this shit. And I see Fat on Twitter go wild. Oh, I have an update yeah. for y'all. Decided to be a weatherman for a day. And so, yeah. and so, like I said, I had nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. And so I decided to get in on the act and I was like, oh, let, let me tweet a fat. <laughs> this is from an old Twitter account I don't have anymore thank God anyway for personal reasons anyway so mm-hmm. so I sent you a tweet uh, I said something dumb right and then you told me okay but I was like you know you look like a Q-tip and then you told me okay then you blocked me right after that <laughs> Wow. Uh, well okay. deserved block. Yeah, I, hey, I ain't mad on the block, but still, you're like, yo, yeah. I thought we were bantering. <laughs> See, that's the problem with Twitter. We're unsolicited. Even hate. when you want to yeah, say exactly. a joke, mm. you're reading it. So I, 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 I still behave towards jokes that are aimed at me the same way. A, a block Done block. Person. Oh, come on, bro. Now, see, now I need to make another account. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to go make another account. No, but that, that, this is the bullshit, bro. Now, now, here's the, the thing if I laughed, if I laughed and it was a joke and I, I, I laughed, I wouldn't block you. Well, look, again, no, it's a matter I, of I tweeted at yeah, you at a time yeah. when there was like 100,000 people also tweeting at you. So like, you know, oh. it wasn't like, you know, it was by itself, like in the middle of the night and you were just bored. No, oh. no, it was, you were very active. During, during like three days. Yes. Yeah, yeah. During like three okay. days. The That's beginning of uh, like. <laughs> Please. Yes. Man, I was, I was so freaking entitled. Well, you deserve it. Come on. Like, you were starting something you know, new. Here's right? the thing. Exactly. I, I was, you I was one young. Of the OGs, though. I, I, I was young. I thought my opinion mattered. <laughs> oh, you thought? Oh. We all did. Okay. Yeah. And then at some point, I'm like, do you know why I can't blame you for any of that? It's because it was at a period you were doing something that was so out of the box and out of our culture at the same time, being open in front of a camera, talking and joking about situations. Yeah. You know, it wasn't something normal here. It's like you, Khairo, uh, all the fans, all like all of you, all of you broke that barrier. True. And no one gave you a blueprint of what to do. There's no blueprint to this day. Yeah, this it's day. always I mean, shout out to Tefaz Eleven. They have like two movies out this year. Yeah, shout out to Tefaz Eleven. Sattar. Beautiful. Of course, we're in the movie. Beautiful. Bro. What are you talking um, about? Khalat Plus on on Netflix, which I was a part of. Yes. And, 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 I mean, we're still. We'll get to that one. Tefaz is 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 still trying to you know like. Find out, you know, like the 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 what they want to do for, mm. for the next like uh, for the next period. I would say um, they're going back also to to some of their um, some of their YouTube uh, classics con- classics and nice. concepts. Um, they have a few concepts for a few shows that they're gonna start on on YouTube as well on their on their Tilfaz Eleven channel. But we we're just like we're all still trying to figure out what do we want to do. Even if you're, but that's the thing when. It's not only what you want to do because being a content creator is uh, the the field is so wide, bro. Like you can do so many things. You can be a niche in one thing, like a lot of people do, or you can be basically a generalist. Like you, you play in so many fields, right? So you were basically breaking barriers, and you were you had to fight against a huge mentality that didn't want any change or any joke, mm. and so like. No one told you what you could do and you can't do because it was it was so vague. I, I, I wouldn't say breaking barriers. It was like discovering, you know, where the barriers are because they were they were kind of like uh, it wasn't really it wasn't very clear what 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 to do and what not to do. Mm. Um, we were basically like creating content to the point where like okay, our limitations are what we don't want our parents to see. That's quite Saudi. Yeah. That's I mean, quite Saudi. Yeah. 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 You know, like okay, I'll, I'll I'll do something. I'll post it on YouTube. If if I don't think my my mother and father would disown me for this, okay. then we're we're good. We're good to go. We can proceed now. We can proceed. Yeah. Okay. So the mahu ab, you know, yeah. like to mm-hmm. to that degree. For, for, this is this is this is exactly what we were pretty much doing. Yeah, most but of the you, time. You guys were doing that, but at the same time, you were you were exceeding everybody else. Because um, it was it wasn't it was a saturated market at one point. At, at one, one point. point, yes. yes. But yeah. when we first started, there, 
I mean, no. we were who, who you were, were, no, who no, were no, we exceeding? You were That's the OGs. Nice. You were the OGs. It, it was revolutionary for Saudi comedy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. guys, I mean, you guys literally started this. Uh, we we were doing that hand in hand with a lot of the stand up uh, comedy shows that we were doing. So yeah, I remember we were that. performing on stage, and then whatever we couldn't um, kind of Put on materialize stage. on stage, we did on on YouTube. Mm. And um, uh, yeah, and he, at some point, TV channels were looking down on us. Like TV channel executives, of course, were thinking this is just you know a, 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 like. Um, a trend. Like a trend. It was just a phenomenon yeah. that's going to go away in, in due time. And they don't have the budget to keep going as much as we exactly. do. Exactly. And then they realize, you know, we only have to, to have like a 3,000 real budget per episode, not, nothing more. And we're good to go. We're good to go. And then those same executives are now hiring us to, to, to kind of curate their content. So that's. If, if, the jokes know, on them. That's an evolution. Yes. But because the, the, the reason that you guys can get to that place is because. Unlike them, they were limited to what they can do. And everything they want to do had to be just a big budget and it has to be to look and feel and sound a certain way. Yeah. You guys had the freedom of just creating. And when you are forced to create nonstop, your brain is always functioning. Yeah. For them, you give an idea. How long, how long will a script take to get done from the, from the day of initial idea? Um, well, it, it depends if it's a film, if it's a series, if it's... Uh... Like for our YouTube stuff, I mean, the whole turnaround period was one week. Like you had to come up with a concept, shoot it, edit it, release it, and then make sure you're 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 on top of of everything for the next episode. Um, and if one episode, there was one a couple of episodes that we we wouldn't release for for you know circumstances beyond our control, that episode would just be scrapped. And one of those episodes, for example, for Laikthar. Um, we had like a full monologue episode and then like a sketch that was based on the monologue. We ended up releasing the sketch, but not the monologue part. Uh, that was, uh, sketch, you know, the, the, <laughs> yeah. that whole, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Telecom, that telecom sketch. That was yeah. amazing. That ended up becoming the seed for, uh, Khambala. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Um, that, that whole, uh, that Khambala whole concept. Khambala. Khambala was based on that format, basically. Oh my God. Khambala, yeah. Khambala was a game changer. Yes, definitely. Marla. Definitely. And uh, after that, it was kind of like, um, it gave us a taste of what like, um, you know, the future of film, you know, the future of filmmaking would be. And the production uh, team. Production team, like uh, conceptualizing like uh, an idea, writing a script. Um, managing a production, um, having like an arc structure. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was it was a time where we were really pretty much just having fun with it. Um, whenever we were traveling together, we would shoot episodes wherever we were traveling. We did that for um, um, Khambala Stereotype. So we had an episode called Stereotype. Yeah, we shot that episode in Fairfax, Virginia. Because we, we were doing, we were doing a stand-up show. Me, Ibrahim Khairallah, Muayd al We were doing a stand-up show for uh, the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Fairfax. I don't like Fairfax. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, I don't like Fairfax. Fair enough. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did a show for like uh, I think it was like the Gulf Student Association or something like that. Yeah. And of uh, course, it's gonna be in Fairfax. It's not. <laughs> So we we shot the stereotype episode there, and once we were like doing coverage for Abdel Nasser uh, uh art exhibit in London, we shot the episode for a victim of reputation there, mm. and it was just like you know, bro, all these are fucking great skits, by the way, like all our like, amazing. Skits. We we would come up with the idea like maybe a week before we traveled, and then we'd go there and we shoot it, and you know, come back, edit it, and then release it. So it was it was uh, that whole um, that whole period was very like. Quick, quick, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was. Um, we didn't have constraints. We, we the only constraints we were we were uh, placing on ourselves were like from from us. Yeah. Mm. Um, wanting to deliver, wanting to deliver at, at a certain you know pace, I would say, for 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 consumption. Because here's the thing: once you release something on YouTube. You got to be consistent with that. You got to release every, you know, algorithms, mm -hmm. algorithms, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we almost weekly, yeah. um, if not bi-weekly. Um, and the thing is, uh, to to you have to keep releasing to to remain relevant. 
That was a huge pressure source exactly. of pressure. It's different than TV. TV give, yeah. me, give me like three seasons and we're good to go. Yeah. I'll see you every single year. But on Pretty on much. YouTube, you gotta be active. active you gotta be active. You gotta interact with people on social media. You gotta you gotta you gotta stay fresh. So we kept like recruiting creatives all the time. Um, it was pretty much like two, two hubs, I would say, uh, for creatives at that point. It was us and U-Turn. So mm. Tilfaz 11 mm-hmm. and yeah, U-Turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were competing us. with each other. Um, I would like to say that Tilfaz had always the edge. Oh, definitely. U-Turn, U-turn did too um, much. Agreed. Yeah, U-Turn did too much. Yeah. And also know. Sahi or whatever it was called. Sahi was... Um, it was sort of a reaction to whatever was happening. Yeah, yeah. It, it was basically like I'm trying to, it was no, copying no, no, no. whatever we're, we're talking doing. about. STC Mobile, Sahi Zain. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. And Shout was, out to Zain. Thank yeah. you for the great 5G internet. By the way, <laughs> 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 don't get it off, please. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One thing that Sahi had that we didn't was budget. Mm. They, that is true. Yeah. They had they had a lot of money, bro. They had too much money. They didn't know what Way to do with too it. Much. Yes, true. and um, and they couldn't give out any great content. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they did their best. They approached. But. They approached to buy a few concepts, purchase like full concepts that we had on YouTube as well, and we kind of respectfully turned them down. Mm. So, yeah, I definitely. Mean, well, yeah, they were. Um, <laughs> they were trying to <laughs> acquire <laughs> everyone on the market. Pretty yeah, much. that's what they. That's how exactly they came in. Oh, you want a football show? We got you. Oh, you want a gaming? We got you. Yeah, we got. You want a cooking? comedy monologue we got show? We yes. got you. Yeah. Whatever you want. You want someone just hit, like whispering to you? We got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Like, you're doing too much. And it was all like under one channel, so like yeah. it was so yeah, yeah, yeah. noisy. Yeah. No, but you guys yeah. like did it so clean, and it felt like at the same time the production value you get to see it from humble to humble, from episode to episode, and so on, and so on. You know, like the writing. The, the the one thing that you guys have till this day on everybody else is finding a way to communicate our culture in a way that is as funny as we see it. Mm. Our sense of humor. Yes. But here's the thing. Like, we didn't have to invent anything. We didn't have to. And that's the beautiful know, it's, part. It's, it's already there. It's already there. Uh, in all the istirahat, they, 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 you know, this is yes. what's what's being discussed. This is, it's just the sense of humor that we're used to and we grew up with. We just... You know, like r- translated it visually. That's all we did. Mm. Um, if anything, uh, we 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 were kind of like ambassadors to whatever was happening already. That's true. Yeah. So I know I, you're trying to make it sound like it's simple, but it wasn't very simple. Do you know why? Because you came up at a time when television existed, mm. and there was big budgets on so many drama shows and so many yeah. shows about the culture, and no one has ever delivered it. Well, here's the thing, because Creatively, it wasn't Saudis that were pioneering these these channels, or, oh, or like pioneering we know that pioneering the content that, that, that's on these channels. Um, lately, because a lot of these networks and channels are recruiting more uh, local talent, um, we've been seeing a shift um, in 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 consumer tastes and and whatever content is being produced. Uh, you know, we 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 would have never imagined, uh, like years ago, that you know in Ramadan we have two shows that are being helmed by young talents from Saudi. And for you have Minhu Aladna too and Sikat Safar too. Mm. These guys would have not seen the light of day like way back when. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, now, there's more confidence, freedom, and 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 not not exactly. I mean, we it's not about the freedom per se, but like it's more. Of confidence in local talents. Yes. Uh, oh, we we were confident enough in them that they they would be able to deliver something that we can provide the consumers. Yeah, because you guys broke that stereotype. We you showed we, it. We we what we did was break numbers. You you are an alternative to what was happening yes. in front of everybody else. Yeah, true. And then when that came up, the whole industry looked at that as like, oh, look at these numbers. We don't yeah, even we can't numbers. get these numbers ourselves. You showed yeah. an entire different market. Exactly. And it was certain. all local, it was all hundred yeah. percent people from down the block. That's exactly what it is. Look at those numbers. Yes. So they started looking at those numbers and they started realizing, oh, we have figures to, you know, there's a tide coming to support. They, they they have the figures to back up whatever they're doing. And what these channels and, and networks were do, uh, ended up ended up doing was was uh, incorporating these talents 
uh, into their creative teams. And, and I mean, there's still, there's still, <laughs> there's still work to do. There's still a lot of work to do because until you, you're basically trying to embed them in, into a system that was already bad. Yeah. And, and, you're, and you're changing the culture. Yeah. You're just changing the culture, but you're not changing the system though. Yeah. The there process. has to be a change it's, it's, to the system. There has to be a shock to the system yeah. to make that. It means you need to take a risk with, with the vision of yo, I might not succeed in this. But we have to take these risks that's, forward. That's specifically TV. When it comes to filmmaking, um, it's a lot more, it's a lot easier mm. to do with to do it with films because with, with films specifically, you're creating content that goes straight to the consumer, and you don't have to be a part of like a major network or a major TV channel. You can just be like a producer, mm. and you sign with like a distribution company, and then just release your film. And that's it. Um, that's why this year specifically, we've been seeing, we've been seeing a lot more uh, experimentation in the filmmaking uh, on on the filmmaking side as opposed to TV. Um, even though, uh, like this coming Ramadan, we have two shows that are being held by young talents, but they're all part two or season two of mm-hmm. whatever was done last Ramadan. Okay. So, so it's not a fresh new idea. It's not a 100% fresh. Mm. Uh, it's Sikat Safar 2 and it's Min Walad 2. Mm. And then Tash <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's You know, that's like, yo. so it's like, yeah. hey, it's... <laughs> Let's go back to the good times. Yeah. Yes. These guys again? <laughs> yes. Um, I, see, I could never connect with that. Like, uh, My problem was I lived abroad my entire life growing up. Okay. So I missed out on the Tash and all the things that people had, right? It was Tash. Well, the thing, I don't know. It was literally Tash. Bro, I wasn't here. So I, I don't yeah. know. There was no, but when else. I came here and they were showing me to like, yo, this is a Saudi comedy. I was watching it. Oh, I did not get it. Mm. Because I saw people acting like people. Okay. You know, I didn't see it was like, I didn't feel like it was a character that was born. Mm. I see like someone is acting like someone else. Okay. So like I already knew that this is a portrayal of something that could not, that might not really exist. That you couldn't relate to. It's all an inside joke rather than a joke that you can't get. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, exactly. It's all under, you know, the society's folds, basically. These characters and the stories and the where they come from. Yeah, but... Uh, No, I didn't. (laughs) (laughs) No, I didn't. That was good. Peak Um, comedy, Adel. Peak comedy. They were... They were... Oh, no, Martin Lawrence. No. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, no, Chris Fox. No Seinfeld. Oh, no. no. Great shows and TV. Oh, my God. It's Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they literally, they literally built the comedy scene, though. Uh, right? Yeah, in I terms mean, of Saudi, they, at least. back then, back, back then. then, back then. And uh, you guys, you know, you guys were the second evolution. You were the second stage of that. Like in terms of, we grew up watching Tosh, so yes. you know, um, that was definitely, definitely in the in in the background. Like we we, we grew up watching it. It was it was sort of like a reference point. A, yeah, a reference point yeah. for us. Um, uh, when it comes to comedy culture in, in Saudi specifically. And whatever we did was just based on that. Uh, it was different. It was sort of like, okay, growing up with Bosch and then consuming international uh, comedy content. Um, production value. Production value obviously was, 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 was higher because of that. Um, because we were exposed to what higher production value could do with other with other content mm. uh, that we were consuming internationally, for example. Um, so, and also, also, I think what what helped us a lot was that production tools were getting cheaper and cheaper and easily read, uh, like, That's true. like like easily accessible. The DSLRs changed the game. DSLRs changed the game. A7s. Yes. I mean, you now can purchase a camera that can do, you know, Black Magic 6K. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was that was like. Up there, we were like much, much, much simpler when it comes <laughs> when it comes to the production that we we're doing. But production Canon T three, it was it was accessible. Yeah. It was accessible to everyone and anyone. Uh, you literally just uh, you know like bought the camera, bought a, a, a tripod stand for it, uh, rented out like um, some some lighting, um, editing tool, editing tools like you can do it on a MacBook. 
And it was like, I don't know, like an editing suite would be like, I don't know. 20. Zero color grading. <laughs> <laughs> Zero it color grading. raw. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but um, we, we would work. Everything is ashy. <laughs> yeah, we, we used to work on stuff like Pro Tools and like yeah. not, even, not even After Effects or anything like that. At, at that time, After Effects wasn't hitting that hard. No, no. Yeah, it, it wasn't, wasn't that it great. Wasn't. It was like Pro Tools. It was like. Final what? Cut Pro. Why, move, movie maker. Movie you know? maker. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yes, 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 yes. Stuff Just like that. Simplify it. It's very simple. Very simple simple editing stuff now now you can do that on your yeah. phone yeah it got much easier to yeah. create content now yeah. i mean you're watching how tiktok is blowing up over some bullshit yeah i mean th th that we saw that um not only being reflected in in tiktok but also on instagram when whenever instagram switched to video format we yeah. started seeing like something of a phenomenon instagram sketches yeah you know, where yeah. like you know like you have like People like Targo, Targ al Harbi, and yeah. like Ibrahim Basha, they like just like catapulted into, into the forefront of everything using Instagram. And I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie and say we weren't intimidated by them, mm. but we thought that we, what we could provide is, More depth. Is, 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 is beyond whatever platform we use. So it's not just YouTube. Mm. We always saw what we provide as, as like, it's content regardless of the platform and we're just going to upgrade the content and upgrade the platform we use to distribute this content and it was it started off on youtube and then at some point we got we felt like it was getting bigger than youtube so that's why um it, it was a natural progression for tilfaz for example to start doing films and, and tv content you, were, you yeah, didn't you limit the yourself. format and yeah, that's the thing yeah yeah yeah, and also, was, you had the fan base to want to come and see your content once it's created on a big screen. With the, because uh, we with had the, with you the built that relationship for like how many years? Regardless yeah. of what pro platform it is on, I'm going there to see a Telfaz 11 exactly. yeah. production. Yes. Uh, production. Because yeah. I know that these guys can tap into the culture like nobody else. And the beautiful thing is uh, Telfaz ended up becoming sort of like a factory of talent. Yeah. Um, yeah. a, a lot of a lot of people that are now you know writing content and and, and filmmaking and stuff like where you know a lot of them at boast, some point at some point they all like a lot of them boast the fact that they were ex mm. Um namely me Nawaf um a so lot of other names. creatives so many that, names yeah, so yeah many, so, so many. Many. I mean dude it's a booklet of names. Yeah. Exactly. So the, a when lot of, all of y'all retire in the future there's gonna be a hall of fame yeah <laughs> yeah this was gonna happen. You, yeah, you built. You built That's a stretch. Industry. That's okay. not a stretch because you guys. Here's the thing: because you, you, I, I said the same thing to Khairo and a couple of other guys. You know, you guys do not understand the effect that you had on everybody else. True. Me as a guy from the outside Very looking in, true. I watched that effect happen. You gave a, a generation a voice. That's basically what you did. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, no, I'm no, gonna no, so go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. It's not only you give a generation a voice. You. You elevated what a Saudi film is, what a Saudi comedy sketch is. Mm. You elevated all of that. True. And you, you innovated. You broke ground. And the numbers not only showed that you can do that, the fact that you guys kept going and growing and passing that knowledge that you had early on mm. into a new industry to a new generation. So there's a lot of things that we need to go back. We we are we talking about this once on the episode. We were talking about 2011 for something, and I was saying like everyone during that time. From U turn to Fast Eleven to everybody in the middle, mm. all those people made did something. At that time, you guys had no fucking clue what you're doing. Which you were just creating thing, content. Which was we, the beautiful thing about don't. it. You still, we, we still again, don't. you still don't. <laughs> which is even better. Listen, no, because you don't see how we see it. You changed everything for a lot of people. All of y'all combined as a unit, you guys made major changes. If it wasn't for you guys doing that with the platform that allowed people easy access to get to mm. and to get all those numbers. Like nothing would have changed. It, it, it's it's true. Like uh, whenever we started like posting on YouTube is around the same time YouTube got to be very accessible on smartphones. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They went beyond just a desktop. They they they, they started once once we started. When iPhones were a thing, and yes, you became, you have an iPhone. Yes, and smartphones, easy. iPhones, and you know iPhones specifically, but smartphones in general. Mm. Once they started getting to the point where you could actually uh, uh, consume content on them with HD uh, 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 quality. Mm. And, and, and I think and you had to, at some point, like YouTube started allowing to allowing us to upload like 4k and 8k. Mm. That is um, recent. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not very practical. Exactly. But, <laughs> but, especially uh, that 8K. But well, you have especially. options now. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's you still, you know, you still have the option. Yeah. And uh, monetization started becoming a thing. Um, I think what YouTube did was allow us to thrive and kill us at the same time. Mm. Because at some point, uh, some of the policies on YouTube around 2000, uh, 2016. Yes. They the, started getting to the be- The great change. They, they, mm -hmm. they changed and they got to be very strict, especially for people who are not uploading daily content. Um, That's where you had the birth of Casey vloggers. Neistat yes. and all these other vloggers that yeah. generate millions of views every single exactly. day. Exactly. So now then you started seeing like this- this uptick in 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 number of of of, of channels that have magalab and stuff. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was that. Yeah. Was, and that as was opposed cool. to like stuff that was being produced like in sketch format or stuff that had higher production value, which needed way more time. More to, time to prep for. More time to prep for and edit and 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 uh, shoot and tailor basically. It, it was hurt, more about it hurt, consistency. Yeah, but at the same time, like for us, like when for example, like an episode's coming out, mm. like what would we would all meet up and watch at the same time. True. Mm. True. Khamban is coming out. Oh, look, we're yeah, all it was, it was an up. event. Yeah. 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 We all meet up for a seven minute skit. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you want to uh, have that discussion, that reaction. I think the, the, the last attempt we had towards something like this was a khalat. Mm. And even mm. that, uh, you know, ended up becoming like a Netflix thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, Khalat is an evolution of uh, yeah. Khambala. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just like Khambala 2.0. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the, the the difference between Khalat and Khambala is Khambala was way more constrained when it comes to like format. Uh, format and ideas and stuff like that. You had to have a certain structure. You had to have like a consistent idea throughout the whole thing. With Khalat, it's just like random sketches. Go into Khalat. Okay. Uh, you enjoy comedy. Yeah. You started doing comedy a long yeah, time ago. I, I think so. Yeah, you like you really enjoy comedy. And the weirder it is, the darker it is, the more better it is for you to yeah. I enjoy comedy. I enjoy crime thrillers. I enjoy <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff. Yeah, I enjoy documentaries. Yeah. Because when you watch Khalat, when it was a great banger that you guys started with you guys. Mm -hmm. with and then it was, it was that suspense of like, you know, where is this going? Mm. And every time we're like, okay, it's done. And then just like, it drags you some more. Yeah. It drags you some more. That's difficult to pull off because you're sitting down between people now that watch things for three minutes mm -mm. and you're asking me to watch an hour. Two. Uh, two, two hours. About two hours. Mm -hmm. There you yeah. go. And so that was totally different than what everything else is happening. And like yeah. you, you, bro, you have this thing when you transition, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when you the, transition to a character. <laughs> the facial expressions. Yeah, everything, everything, yeah. everything, everything. The look, the walk. I, I was, I was, I was cast, I was cast in, in the film because I had a, a really good panicked face. The director was like, uh, I want Fahad Lebtari for this, this role because he has a really good, like, <laughs> panicked facial expression. <laughs> 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 and there was that. Uh, and then you had like, um, uh, uh, it's a combination of me, Suhaib Quddus and Ismail Hassan. It was, it was perfect. To this day, to this day, like um, we've been approached for, you know, other stories. Like, why don't you three do other, mm, yeah. other ideas? Like based on you three. Like, I, mean, I would, like, I would, I would and they're like, yeah, because deal. your bodies are so different in size, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, and your style yeah, of performance exactly. is so yeah, different. Exactly. Wow. And, and and it just, it it's, just it's a walking comedy. We want to make yeah. magic. For, I mean, for, for a silent uh, comedy, but like trio, it's it's, it's up there, especially the especially Smile. Oh my God, his yeah. face. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. He was like, Anna, Anna Kanuni. I'm like. <laughs> We had to, I mean, it was so difficult Ooh. not to freaking break, break into laughter. Yeah. Because the way he, he delivers, his yeah. delivery is so cold. And then the thing is like, he, he downplays a lot of like serious. Exactly. <laughs> it's a serious moment. It's like, no, no, I did you go. I did you go. I 
it, it wasn't a real kef that I got. You know, like the slap mm. was was fake. Oh, that's bullshit. Uh, yeah, I have to say that. It's a movie match. Exactly. Uh, although, 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 if I had been I, this sla- is, slapped for this real, is fake to Vezinev. Okay, we're not gonna watch this anymore. <laughs> we, but if, if I was slapped for real, I wouldn't have mind minded at all. Mm. Like I have no problem. Uh, but um, I think for continuity reasons, they were like, let's not. Let's not do that for real, because mm. then you have to make sure that his face is just as red in every take. Mm. Oh, that is true. That is true. The whole, the whole yeah. 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 Hire me, bro. I got soft hands, <laughs> man. <laughs> and, and you know, like, if you get like a handprint, it makes sure that every take has the handprint. Yeah. Hold still, hold still. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 My finger was a little bit up. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do it right. Mm. Yeah, now, no, but, you know that was a great moment. If he, if he was wearing the ring, that would have been a completely different thing. Mm-hmm. Too. Yeah. No, that would have been yeah. stained, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but let's get to uh, something very important. Okay, the office. Ah, the maktab. The maktab, yes. Yeah. Okay. So it was uh, it was our attempt to kind of like make a Saudi version of uh, a licensed Saudi mm-hmm. version of of the office. And well, someone uh, pissed you off on that one uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. because a lot of people are like, license, <laughs> yeah, because like, everybody's like, Oh, can you get to do the office, dude? This is the yeah, office, yeah, 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 we, yeah. It's a licensed <laughs> BBC production, yeah. Like, we literally went to BBC, we're like, Can we do a version? They're like, Okay, you have to pay this much. We paid it, yes. so it's an official version okay. of the office, <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we, you know, something similar to no, it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, uh, <laughs> exactly, you know, and it's like, uh, when we first started, uh, uh, you know, thinking about the concept, uh, it was, it was led by head writer Abdullah Dharan, who worked on Urim and a bunch of other productions as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I brought, you know, it, it was, it was me, it was Nawaf Shbeli, it was Abdullah Dharan. Um, like two other comedy writers that I as- aspire to and look up to. And, and, and I think those two Aww. are... are <laughs> we don't, have a, we don't have a sound for this. There's no sound for this. I love that. <laughs> That's for you. That's for you. Oh, look, you have hopes and dreams. Look at yeah. you. <laughs> so anyway, those two guys are... I have prob- idols. Anyway, so that's like, you can be like... <laughs> No, it's not like idols as much as it is like people that actually excel in what they do. And, and not even that. Mm. I would say people that actually make me nervous. Oh, okay. To compete mm-hmm. with. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So they're that good. Like to the point where like, oh, I just if if I can make these guys laugh, I'm good. So I need to step up my mm. game. Basically. I need to step up my game. They were very they I mean Which is the best kind of competition. Yes. So we were like in that team, we were kind of like competing with each other to make, you know, to, to, yeah, to create the best laughs yeah. or the, the, the biggest laughs. And um, we started writing a few episodes. We were kind of like bound by the format. So we had to like kind of make uh, re-envisioned ideas from the, ba- the, the original series. And then we sort of slipped original ideas in the middle. And those ended up becoming like the best episodes in, in the series. Like, uh, you know, when it comes to like people's reactions to yeah. them, people the one, love these original ideas the best. The ones that actually relate to culture and yeah. things that we actually go through here. Yeah. And also... Um, the first 10 episodes were mild. Yeah, they were okay. They were okay. They were okay. You okay. know, I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm not a guy that ever watched The Office in his life. I, don't. I, I okay. watched it. Yeah, yeah, the first yeah. time I watched it, I was, I watched it this one. Okay. You know, because I saw you and I saw a bunch of people that we respect and we're like, yo, let's yeah. see what everybody's doing. And so my introduction to it, I was like, okay, this is going to be like pulling teeth at first. And then they can, I understood the model, understand gotcha. the concept, and it became easy for me to digest. And yeah. then I started looking for the little things. But from episode uh, I mean, one thing, 11 one, going up though. Yeah. See, the thing is, w- what we did different in, in this version of The Office um, in the American version, Michael Scott was the lead. Yeah. Um, and David Brent was also in the in the UK version was also the lead. In this in this version, Nidal, the Dwight character, is the lead. Yes. Yeah. Like that. I mean, no, not only is super strong, strong, presence, killing it. Yes, killing no, it. He was. It. He was. He oh, he. Bro, my favorite fucking character. He would, he carried the whole thing on his shoulders. Bro, you have no mm. idea how many assholes like him that I know. The instant. And I love it <laughs> every time I see it. I yeah. love it. Bro. Oh, he, his delivery as well. Like, yeah, like, bro. I mean, fifteen it's years Zubat. in the Zubat. government sector. <laughs> hey, fifteen years in the government sector. He kind of like. 
knew what it takes yeah. Yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. To, 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 you know, kiss ass to the manager. Bro, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, the best of the day, the best of the day, the best I mean, yeah. And the thing is, like, his misogyny is sort of understood. <laughs> Amazing. It's like, Amazing, bro. He, he, he would come up with an argument, and you're like, ah, oh, I, I, I see where it's coming from. <laughs> no, you've seen the personalities. Yeah. That's the thing. You yeah. understand the personalities, especially him. Like, and he, he delivers. It? It's it, and the thing is like it, it never comes, you know, it ne- never blindsides you. It's always like rooted in logic and reality, and you're like, mm. yeah, he gives you that. Yeah, we should. It, it's not yeah. only that. See, the beautiful thing about the writing is the fact that you guys had him print an A4 paper for Tinder. <laughs> yeah. Tinder with an A4 paper. I mean, that alone, I yeah. fucking died, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I was hilarious. like, Yo, they actually asked yeah. him to print out an A4 paper. It's <laughs> my presentation, and then, <laughs> and then he was like flipping through it. <laughs> yes, and and uh, yeah, and the, the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> the subtlety of the stupidity is amazing. Mm, yeah. No, no, no. And, 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 in, it, in, in, okay, I'll be honest. Okay. Some, like a lot of, a lot of the really, really funny parts in the, in the episodes were improvised by Nawaf. I was like, just about know, to like, ask that, yeah. Hey, what, 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 that was, that was him. That was just Nawaf. That was just like, no, Nawaf killed him. The, the, the character. Dude, he killed that character. Mm-hmm. Like he nailed it. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It feels so authentic and original at the same time. And you feel like I met this asshole somewhere before. I worked with him my somewhere. favorite. My favorite line in the whole series was when he was in one of the Talking Head interviews. He was talking about his grandmother. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, like he was, he was, he was taking a video during a birthday of his cousins. <laughs> yes, and like his his grandmother had a heart attack right then and there, <laughs> and then she fell on the cake. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, it was so funny. Oh my God. Uh, on her face, you could read happy bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, happy Dude. bear. Oh, that's, and, uh, the <laughs> and the smile. The day was gone. You know? <laughs> that was, and then the smile, he's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, he killed that character. He killed him. Every time it feels like you need, you need an asshole. He's like, yeah, I, I got you. He was, he was, <laughs> I, I got you. He was a perfectly lovable asshole. Yes. Like Amen. you, bro, I have relatives <laughs> not just like that. So when you hear him, you feel like, yeah, I'm listening to someone. I, I honestly thought a lot of um, a lot of the things we were writing for uh, Malik al which was played by mm-hmm. Salah Bamra, was yeah. a little, you know, a little too much. Like it, it came out of left field. Like we were not. We, but he's a great actor, though. But then, then I started getting like texts from like relatives and especially female relatives mm. that, that came up to me and be like, well, yeah, my manager's just like that. I'm like, what? Well, I definitely yes, met people like do that. exist that act like, like mm-hmm. the thing is, he, I think from episode, from season one to season two, you can see him growing into the character. Because yes. yeah. that character is annoying as hell. Yeah, he and got like, more comfortable. And we were, today we were playing the episode, the one where the woman had a meeting and then the men want to have their own meeting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Warehouse visit. The warehouse, warehouse. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. So that one, you got to see him play that character perfectly. Yes. How he's jealous, how he's annoyed, yeah. how he and, takes and things then, personal. But it, he has this like lovable element to him. Yeah. Because yes. he, here's the thing, he wants to be, you know, he, he wants, wants to be, be popular. He wants, he, to, be he wants to be the cool manager. He wants to be the cool manager. He wants to be the cool manager. But also an authoritarian. Yes. I'm I'm still, I, hey, I'm still the boss. Hey, yeah, exactly. No, no, the projection of where he's going also is very interesting. Uh, for me, I honestly, the, only, the thing I loved about the show is the fact that it also got to show you a big cast interacting, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And um, we, not, we, not, were, not we lucked every, out. Not we every, lucked out with like really, really interesting cast members. Um, um, people like Hashim Hosawi, who's a stand-up comedian. Yeah, we know Hashim. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Hashim, Hashim is amazing. amazing. Um, Mitab was also amazing. The guy who played uh, uh, Anwar, Anwar yeah, yes. the, the, the mm. head of the warehouse yeah. team. Yeah. He was also amazing. I know a guy for the mom just like him. Yeah. <laughs> Same yeah. person in a yeah. warehouse, but yes. mm. he was in the eye. The, the, the Reem Mansour who played Besma has never acted before. Oh, for real? Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, she was so natural in the audition. Super that it was fucking super, natural. Yeah. Super good, girl. honestly. She was, she was really, really good. I mean, his, her sister is a very... Well-known, established actress, uh, Razam Mansour. So she's she's known to be an actress, and but, but we've she never plays really that so yeah. well, yeah. so she natural. Was, she 
she was a perfect fit for for Besma. Yeah. Yeah. The personality. Yeah. Um also we couldn't really um invest too much in the Talal Basma uh, relationship because Yeah, that, that kind of died out quick. Uh I mean in the end you're talking about a Saudi society so you know, you got to be real careful where you take like that mm. romantic angle. Mhm. Um, I mean, you can only have as much interaction between the two without it being a little too much. Yeah, especially that her brother is supposed to be an employee in, mm. in the, the warehouse. In the warehouse, <laughs> he's up your ass the whole time. <laughs> exactly. So even even the the closer for like the finale, we made it like we wrapped up everything like uh, halal. Yes, you know, like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Um, we 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 th- that's why we invested more in the Nadal character. Mm. The interaction between Talal and Nadal is is a lot more interesting in the show than than the Basma Talal interaction. Um, and also the the Malik Nadal relationship is also really interesting, especially when mm-hmm. you know there's this episode where Malik goes uh, to 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 buy a house, mm. and <laughs> yes. Nadal is with him. <laughs> And he starts like, <laughs> knocking oh, on, on the wall. I don't know that. I'm a mahshi. I'm a mahshi. I'm a mahshi. You know, like, and, and, and the thing is like, what a pain in the ass. You see the yeah. friendship. You see, like, you, you, see, you, see the, you see, like, Nidal really trying hard that, to that impress The episode when, uh, when your character fucked him over and got him a, uh, Hoover, what the fuck it was? Uh, yeah, Roombas. Yeah, yeah. Roombas. Yeah, the Roombas. Am I like Aliyah? That's Automated. Yeah. Like when he cried, when he when when Malik approved. And a kaboot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the kulli jawad the kaboot and a kaboot. Wow, that was. Oh yeah. my god, bro. And like, uh, but that, also your character being there, outsmarting him. In his own stupidity. The straight guy. Oh, here's the straight the thing. guy. That's the thing. Like, he, yeah, the straight guy. The straight basically. guy. Yeah, the, 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 my character was based on, if anything, look wise and 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 uh, personality wise, uh, we had to to you know base a lot of the characters on on in the show on Saudi stereotypes. Mm. So Nidal, you can definitely imagine a guy like Nidal existing in real life. He's still a subscriber to Jarid Til Haya, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and like, you know, Reem Mansour in like Besma was like this girl next door, kind of Hijazi girl, that's yes. sort of mm-hmm. that kind of a thing. First job. Exactly, mm-hmm. first job. Doesn't uh, want to do much. Today. Doesn't want to do much. Doesn't, doesn't want to... Doesn't want to do anything beyond you know her her duties mm. because then she would be asked to do it again. You know, mm. like just like Leave me alone. doesn't want to overachieve at all. It's yeah. like what's that character uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, the secretary for Holt? Oh uh, yeah, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. I forgot her name. Um, for for Talal, we based him on a lot of the guys you see in Old Square. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, yeah. the fade oh, the wow. amazing okay. amounts of gel in his hair and <laughs> <laughs> galabi <laughs> you know um oh my god i i literally had to, uh during the shooting of the of the series i think i used i used up a kilo and a half a kilogram and wow. a half of gel. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. Gel. That's yeah. investment. Yeah. I'm like, if we're going to do a, a, another season, I need to be sponsored by <laughs> Fatica or something. You know, we need to, we need to come up with, we need to get this. <laughs> There's a yeah. skill through. Here, 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 here first. first. Exactly. Yeah. You get the unneed brand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No sticker, no expiry date, nothing. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, who, who kept, uh, who kept tabs on me for, for that? I think Maryam Abdurrahman who played Magic in the, in the mm. series like i would pass by her dressing like the, the we had like uh you know like green rooms yeah. for each of the the actors and the girls were all in one room so i would pass by them and i would show her like an empty uh <laughs> like an bottle. empty <laughs> the empty like uh you know th- container of, of like hair gel and she's like <gasps> that's the third one <laughs> you know? and then i throw it out and then i come in it was like number four you know like we kept you have going. a coupon card she's like <laughs> punches them every she time kept tabs in. on it and then she was like in Ta'arif Kam Khalas, you finished a kilogram and a half of gel <laughs> during wow. this series. So, yeah. But the good thing is, like, it was like a wet look kind of gel. So, yeah. like, you would wash it off with just water. Otherwise, yeah. I, I remember, like, shaving my, my head completely after, after we, we, we were wrapped shooting. I want to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my scalp wanted to. Let me, let me rebuild, <laughs> yeah. basically. But how long did you guys take to, to record? Four months. For real? Yeah. 
Interesting. It took a while because here's the thing. Um, not only is the the type this type of format new to the to to the region, like the mockumentary style. Yeah. Every single cast member has to be on set the whole time, even okay. if you weren't in the scene, you were in the background. A full time job. So, yeah. so we had to be there like day in day out. Every day. You had to look busy. Yeah, we had to look busy. Um, I got to be really good at solitaire. <laughs> really. <laughs> practice, practice. Yeah. So uh, that's... You'll, you'll knock out every, every episode a day or sometimes it'll go two days? Um, uh, on average, every episode would take two days of shooting. Oh. Yeah. And um, some of the episodes uh, towards the end of the series was they weren't written. Oh, they, we, we, we had like um, a shot list of scenes without dialogue and we would literally have to improvise a lot of the stuff. I mean, but, but, but because it was towards the end of the shoot, a lot of us were very well versed in our own characters <laughs> yeah. that mm-hmm. we could just, you know, Speak we, could, the we could take the scene and, and, and do it. And, and That's the reason, I mean, b- amazing, uh, beca- because a lot of the guys had, you know, comedy backgrounds, um, uh, specifically in stand-up comedy, so improvising was was easier to do. Um, a lot of us had experience doing, you know, YouTube s- stuff like Saad Aziz did and Salah Banda <coughs> did. So when we were getting together and and coming up with scenes, uh, and, and then like, you know, we do like a rehearsal or two, and we had the head writer Abdullah Dharan on set with us as a creative pr- uh, director. So he would help a lot with, you know, carrying, he would, he would basically just give us like the general tone of the scene mm. and this is what we want to do. And, and, you know, you're, you're here to convince him to do this and do that. So the Larry based David on method. Huh? the Larry David, method. the Larry David method. Exactly. Yeah. So we switched up to the Larry David method towards like the last four episodes, I think. The ad and uh... the ad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that, that was one of my. One of my favorite episodes yeah. ever. Part one or part two? Um, Nevada in part one was ridiculous. Marra, marra. The thing is, that, <laughs> hey, that, episode, that episode was sort of like our revenge and the production company's revenge <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> against, against creative agencies. We both suffered from them so much <laughs> okay. that when we did that episode, it was kind of, like this is t- this is the time. This is our, this is our this is yeah. you know us. <laughs> this is us getting them. our revenge. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know, um, Nawaf and and me and a lot of like Salah Amra as well. We all like uh, uh, we've worked in in creative writing before, especially with creative agencies. So we <laughs> we know about all the BS that happens, mm. and you, the production did. company that was sh- you know that was uh, producing the series also suffered from getting creative agencies at some point. So we kind of um, we were joined, joined forces. We joined yeah. forces basically for for you know. the hate combines us. Yes, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> multiplies us. We're unified Actually. by the hate. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. This is how this podcast came together, so, ladies and gentlemen. Elevated, it was just pure hate. Yeah, yes. and and then it was supposed to be one episode, but it it um it went on for so long. It was too good. Uh, the it, setup. We were like, let's do a two parter. Yeah, and um, we we couldn't take out like uh, we looked at, 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 at a lot of the scenes that we we were we wrote for the for this episode. We were like, we can't take this out. We can't take this out. We can't mm. take this out. Let's keep this in there. Um, you know, the stuffed falcon, the, the, <laughs> the, the baby concept. Yeah, it's a baby concept. We're like, that's <laughs> too, uh, yeah, that's too good. Oh my. You and have no idea when we were watching this, that's how Shamsi pitches ideas. Yeah. yeah he totally. used to be in a creative agency before, in a marketing so agency. Yes. So he used to come to us. I remember once he called me. Like, <laughs> <"What is> he? <laughs> <laughs> he called me once. He was doing <laughs> a commercial. <laughs> for, was, this, was it Sahara? Or was it, it, was, uh, it was a jungle, bro. The jungle. There was a jungle. He's like, there's a jungle. Okay. Sounds of goes, yes. <laughs> wow. He starts acting. He's like, then all of a sudden the burger comes out. What the fuck are we doing? Burger, bro? <laughs> and, it's and it's green. Yo, okay. <laughs> You're know, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It was actually mangoes. <laughs> <He's an> asshole. <laughs> but yeah, see, the, the the thing that I hated so much about season two ending is that I felt that you guys just got to exactly where you want to be or almost there. Mm. You know, I, I saw the growth and it was the healthy growth that, 
you know, it People can go somewhere different. That feeling of, of wanting it to carry over a little more, right? Yes. Like, like, you know, two or three more episodes. Exactly. Here's the thing. Um, it's, it's a natural progression of any series. By the end of it, you're like, ah, if you, if you finish, uh, if you finish up the, the, the season with that kind of a note, with the, like, you know, audiences wanting more, you're, you're, that's it. You're, you're, you've done a perfect job. You're good to go. If audiences are like, oh, okay, it's done. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's, 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 a, that's a problem. That that's a failure. Yeah, but again, that you guys got to that, right? The first note. And the problem, okay, you might say, okay, by season two, it's, it's the progression. How many shows did we have that's just like this? That's out of the box. It's yeah. totally different to yeah. our culture, to our behavior. Into, it's true. It's totally into, different to all the actors. New yeah. characters, new new way of delivering comedy. Not only that, we noticed also that we sort of were growing an audience after, way after it was done. Way after it was released. Mm. Um, it takes uh, time for people to consume yeah. content. Yeah, like, yeah. And we were not used to like... And funny enough, show. we got to be like, okay, it was on Shahid at first. Yeah. And then on NBC, the channel, TV channel. Yes. Uh, it did amazing numbers on TV, by the way. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the, really, really because interesting. Because that's, that's, the, that's the audience getting used to the format. Like, yes. at least I know that this is dropping at this day on first, this time. First of all, like, I was I was shocked that that many people still yeah. watch TV <laughs> yes. in, yeah. in, in the, in the, in the uh, yeah, traditional no, way. No, in the region, still, TV is still a big yeah, For TV. families, especially. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's... Um, and NBC is always like in the background. Yeah. True. Yeah. And, and in in every is, household. So it did amazing numbers on the channel. Um, we, I was never stopped publicly on the street, for example, like for the Talal character until it, it, it was on TV. Oh, for real? Yeah. I was, I was, I was, uh, funny enough, I was walking with Noah Fishbedi and they stopped. They, oh, Nidal Talal. You know, and they took, <laughs> and I'm like. No, that's on have, you, dude. That, 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 that's that's a, you're that's walking it. together. Why? They don't recognize yeah, yeah. me from Laikta. They don't recognize me from Telefaz. It's Telefes a brand 11. new audience, oh, bro. A completely brand new audience. New yeah, generation. brand new audience, yes, bro. Yes, absolutely. If and you if you do Laikta right now, they think it's a brand new show. If it's on TV? I don't think I'm going to make as, 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 as good of numbers. You. <laughs> you, you don't, <laughs> you don't yeah, think me. Yeah, you, 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 don't, you don't think. We don't think that. Um, I guess so. Um, here's the thing with Badr Saleh, for example, he has this Parnamaj Badr YouTube, and it's yeah. it's it's making numbers that I never imagined he would make. But there's a difference between you guys and Badr Saleh. Badr Saleh has been doing this thing in different formats, right? Or different, I don't know, styles. Okay. But it's always been similar idea of delivery and so on. You guys, you expanded your horizon. You went into movies. You went into shows. Yes. You started yeah. writing. Like you guys expanded on what you used to do. It's not like you were motionless. You guys evolved. Um, we, we, I would say we just, we get bored quickly. So whatever we were doing, okay. That's a good thing. Enough with, with this YouTube monologue stuff. Let's let's try to, you know, do something different. Then we, that's when we started doing sketches for Khambala because we got bored with Laikta. Mm. And then from Khambala, we started, you know, we gave Timsah his own channel. And then, and and we just- Which was an amazing time. It yes. was- oh, yes. yes, that Tim was Sah an amazing is, time. Is, 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 is Timsah has this character that voices whatever you're thinking oh. <laughs> yeah. and can't say. Yes. <laughs> and- uh, we had the freedom to do so because it's a puppet yes. saying that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the beautiful part. Yeah. Yes. It's not real. Yeah. yeah, you can't you can't hold it against it. Uh, mm. Quick Ferguson played it, that against motherfucker it. perfect. Not yeah. even like him. There's no it's him. It, exactly. Yeah, there's no him. It's, it's only it. one thing. And it's that thing. Again and again in so many again, different ways. If, if you guys don't know Tim Sah, you need to go find Tim Sah. Please. Yeah. Okay, at the same time, he's Talamiski for Brazil. He's doing his yeah, master's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We him, know that for a fact. According to Ibrahim, Ibrahim told us yeah. for Brazil, he's doing his master's. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a while doing his master's. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So I don't know what is he mastering exactly. You just nah, he's, he's doing his PhD. <laughs> Malik, master he's master of the Amazon, Malik. He's a Tim Sah. <laughs> but Tim Sah was a moment. Oh, if we had cancel culture during the time Tim Sah was here, oh, yeah. that would have been even funnier. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> see, you're going to cancel a puppet see, again, yeah. see, that's what we're talking about you guys created so much that was a at a time that TV couldn't keep up with you guys yeah I mean TV was bound to change I agree Yeah, and, and, and they could not look 
any further than us. I mean, we we were right there. So um, TV and film um, became like the the natural progression for us, like the next step. Uh, so we did like um, for for NBC and Shahid, we did the Maktab. Um, Ram Khalilah hosted like a, a, a game show on on NBC. Yeah, as well. I remember that. Yeah. Um, oh, we, oh, we need to talk shit to Khair on that one. We totally forgot, forgot about oh, that. Th- thank you, Fahad. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> we we just, thank you. That. I'm sorry, Ibrahim. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we're going to text um, you right after this, real quick. Ibrahim uh, Hajjaj did uh, Rshash, Minhu Waladna, yeah. and then like. Shout out to Ibrahim Hajjaj. Uh, shout out to Ibrahim Hajjaj. Sattar uh, now as well. Yeah, Sattar mm-hmm. now. Um, so it was just like a natural progression for us to, to, to do that. Um, a lot of a lot of people, especially executives in these TV channels and networks, didn't think we had the maturity to be able to do stuff like that until we started making numbers on the channels. And and and, and I mean, Satar is still number one in the box. Yeah, office. Star, Star is uh, amazing. Uh, even classic. even though, like, if you look into it realistically, it's a half baked idea. Yes, but it's just like done well enough. It's entertaining enough that audiences are very forgiving. We we don't care. We don't want it to be. But we don't want a deep story. Mm. Doesn't need to be a deep Doesn't story. need to be a deep yeah, story. Exactly. We, ju- we want entertainment, period. Exactly. So and something uh, we can relate to. Yeah, I mean, you know, like certain filmmakers might be like, oh, why the story? There's no story in the film. You know, like you could like argue, you could like no, it's the case. contest yeah, it's it, it's, you can, you, but it's still making numbers. Yeah. Um, it might have uh, uh, gotten to be number two in the box office at some point, but it's back to number one. So it's it's never left it's, the top five. It's a beast beast of a movie, man. Yeah, Amen. I mean, Amen. it delivers perfectly to the local audience. Yes, it's a uh, it's a purely commercial formula. We 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 didn't invent anything new, but it was executed well. That's that's all it is. True. Yeah, and, a whole lot of spice su- into it. Yeah, too. supremely well. And a lot of a lot of um, a lot of filmmakers might be, you know, prone to like maybe criticize an approach like that because it's too commercial. Mm. You know, they want these art house festival films. Mm-hmm. And to me, they, they, they're just- It's trash, it's trash. Let's, yeah. let's be honest, it's <laughs> trash. It doesn't work. Uh, it's, 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 trash. it's not trash, it's boring. It, it's trash. It's not what your audience wants. Yo, I'm That's not here thing. for you to give me the sob story of I don't the sands s- of time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. This is not our culture. This is not what we're looking for. Tash Matash was number one for a long time for a yeah. fucking reason. Yeah. Nothing, no, nothing surpassed that. Yeah. And to this day, now it was, oh, it's coming back. Everyone's still going crazy. Oh, yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. It's coming back. No, it's like, oh, that shit again. No, because everyone knows it hit. And also, also when it comes to the genres that people are doing, like a lot of people are exploring like thrillers genres yeah and, uh, drama genres but no one's doing comedy true um it's until not, un- not, until hard. this until this year it's not re- here's the thing it's, it's harder it's harder yes yes okay it's not impossible not at all um and you still got people like you know umar bahabri and and um uh Adur. For a hamur hain, yeah, they're completely non tilvas, and they still managed to get, you know, they perfected the the tonality of that mm. comedy. So you don't have to be part of a certain conglomerate to be able to to. to, exactly. to it's, not to. A, it's not True. a it's not exactly. yeah. a private club. Exactly, it's not a private club. But I'll ask you a better question that fits to all of that. Okay. Do you feel like today, you as someone who went through the last. 10 years of watching the progression from YouTube to TV mm-hmm. to movies, right? Do you feel when you sit with executives, when this, with decision makers, mm-hmm. are they giving you, I'm not going to say the respect. I think you're, you're only in that circle when you're already respected. Do they give you the freedom to actually want to create something that's out of the box that you feel could be great? Or there, is it, yo, we have ideas, come make our ideas better. There's two kind of executives. Um... There's a there's a kind that are like yeah, yeah give me your ideas, let's let's see what you got, and those are very rare, and you know you don't you don't see them so far. You don't see them every yeah, day. Yeah, far very far in between. Okay. Um, 
And you know, every now and then you'd meet one or two of these executives. And they disappear real quick. <laughs> and not disappear, but they, they get, you know, way too busy doing other stuff. Yeah. But the majority of executives in this entertainment sector are like, here is an idea. How can we execute this well? Most, most of the time, it's ideas that need fixing. So it's not about need work. Not it's ready. not about reaching the the stage where it should be greenlit. It's still in the phase of what is this? How can we make it make sense? There, there's still there's there's still this dilemma of of copying ideas. Oh yeah, that's been copying, enough. Copying, <laughs> yeah. Like okay, <laughs> have you how that can so we long. have you been to Kuwait? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kuwait has been having the same idea just with a different face filter. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing changed. I mean, we as individually, yes. the creatives in the market are coming up with original concepts. 90% of the time, they're not exactly supported. A lot of <sighs> times they're like, okay, these ideas are cool. Oh. How can we fix this though? And and um until until it gets to a point where these creatives are heard. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about a lot of people that I respect and admire. Mm. A lot of people. There's no lack of creatives in the market. There is no lack of talent. There's a lack of opportunity. There's a lack of opportunity and support. Mm -hmm. um, and part of me does not blame some of these people, these executives, because it's still... They're it's the industry. industry. It's, yeah. still, it's still an investment. Yeah, it's it's a, still, I'm spending money on these yeah, people. I need I, ROI. Exactly. And... and Am I investing well in them? Is is it is it like a is it like an investment that like you said ROI? Is it an investment that's going to have a return for me? Is it going to be something that's going to be popular? Is it going to you know because Sardinia will let that you know like um, before Sattar came along, a lot of people didn't think that commercial film ideas are going to be you know a big thing. Um, but then they that, did. That misconception mm, see, has been broken. Exactly. This is yeah. the problem. Yeah. The problem is that you have to go create your own production house to come up with a new idea yeah. because the industry is now willing to bet on something new. Betting. That's that's the word. Yeah. Betting on on talents. Betting on on the future. Co creative concepts that that the these guys are coming up with fresh perspectives. Um, different perspectives. Different perspectives. Um, but you're betting on a on a success story that proved itself already. I mean, Tilfaz 11. But for it to is, be a success story that proves itself, it has to happen. No, I'm talking about Tilfaz 11 already proving, already proved Here's the thing. their success yeah, but, story but, when it comes to cinema creativity. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. They succeeded on YouTube. Yes. Fine. But how is that going to translate to film? Apparently, to apparently how, is quite well. yes. <laughs> how is that going to translate to to, to TV. That was the dilemma. Like, I'll be honest with you. When we first started writing scripts for Al Maktab, uh, a lot of, you know, in-house consultants or whatever, and, and they were like, this is, is this funny? Wait a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, where's, where are the jokes? Okay, so it's a different mentality. And, yeah. and the thing is like, that's the office. Like when you, when we spoke that's to the, the type BBC, of comedy, exactly. When we Very spoke dry. to executives in, in the BBC scripted department, they're like, that's exactly what it is. You have three shows right now that you're, that you're, that you're coming up with. One is a show you write. Second is a show you produce or shoot. Mm. And third is a show you edit. That last one is going to be the, 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 the funny one. Mm -hmm. So you're going to, you're going to write it. It's not going to be that funny on script on paper. Uh, you're gonna shoot it. Some of the scenes are gonna be funny. Not all of them are haha -ha funny. Once you start editing, uh, going back and forth between like you know, breaking the fourth wall, Monologue. looking at the camera, yeah. eye contact, um, getting reactions from other employees, Being personal That's, with the fan base. Exactly. It's all once, about the timing. Yeah. It's it. Once you start using the camera as a character in the series, then you start having. The, the, the comedy the moments and the funny moments. That's when the ha-has begin. That's when the ha-has begin. Because The Office was a risk. Yeah. El Mekta was a risk. Yeah, it was. And you can see by the end of season two how well it paid off. Um, um, I would say that we had nothing to show for it until it got viral, like on social media abroad. Yes. Then 
you know, like Lad Bible wrote an article yeah. about about mm -hmm. about the the, the, fire the series, episode. and they were like <gasps> the fire drill episode. Yeah, the fire. And drill. then so, uh, two tweets. One of them was was I think what's the website called Dextro.com. They posted something that got seven point five million views on Twitter. Whoa! And it was like six and seven million views for you know for, for like two two of the tweets that that, that spoke of that, about the show, and. People were downloading, like abroad, we're downloading Shahid. Luckily, it, it was available that like in the dope. US and the UK and everything. Yeah. And they were watching it on the on the on the on the app as opposed to like pirated websites because it had English subtitles. Which was and, very important. Which is and, yeah. amazing. I yeah. mean, that's, that's it is it is really amazing. I got, it's you so know, much more accessible. I got I gotta I gotta commend, you know, NBC for doing that, you know, to to translating the episodes and making sure that the English subtitles are there and accessible to everyone. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it was based on foresight, but <laughs> I, I know what you mean. At the same yeah. time, you were taking an idea and you're trying to make it make sense locally. Yeah. Okay. So you already had a concept. That's something. That it was. It was very tricky. Like especially with, you know, the whole dynamic between Pam and her fiance, for example. Yeah. We couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. So we changed her fiance to her brother, because it would make sense for a brother to be like protective of his sister against someone like Talal. Mm. But also we couldn't have Talal be in your face flurry. That was a little too much for, not only is it, you know, like taboo, it's not it's about not that at all. As well. It's not realistic. Yeah, it's not realistic. Um, you know, you would have, you know, like coworkers, like most of the, most of the flirting, quote unquote, flirting that happens between the two is gonna be joking. It's gonna be you know you know being trying to be funny. The good thing is also you don't carry it out to the next episode, right? So yeah. if there was a joke about flirting in one episode, you're not gonna it's not gonna build an episode two, because episode is gonna be taking a different direction of that day yeah. in the office. And it sounds yeah. like exactly it's a yeah. different day completely. Um, there is like a few moments where we kind of like call back on their relationship, like yeah. you know the potential of like Besma leaving the office, going mm -hmm. finding another job. Then it's it starts worrying Talal. Um, that kind of a thing, like, but you you don't you don't you, harp on the threat. We don't harp on the threat. Yeah, yeah it's just because there. then it's just like, Ech. Mm. yeah. I mean, sure, you have this level of cringe that you have to have in the show because of <laughs> course this, this is the basis of the sense of humor in the we show. Know Shams, <laughs> we know Shamsi. What are you talking it's about? Literally <laughs> the show. Shamsi is the cringe. I bring it. <laughs> we used to every it. day. Every day. <laughs> so so there's that, but you can't be too cringy. Mm. I mean, Talal's character literally at some point says, yeah, well, I'm cringy. Like, he says that in mm -hmm. the show. Yeah. Uh, but we Self, also- Self-awareness. Yeah, self-awareness. So we, we we don't harp on that whole, uh, that whole thing. Um, we kind of like try to capitalize more on uh, the, 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 best, the best investment in the whole show, dramatically speaking, is, is the Naval character. Nival, Nival <laughs> the is just like the, whole thing. the cherry on top of the cake. Oh, ridiculous. It ridiculous. was, he was like, and the thing, when we first started writing for the show, we didn't expect him to be the lead like that. The turnaround was the health insurance episode. Yes. That was yeah. the one for me. Yeah. <laughs> that was like how he gave a shit about nobody. <laughs> 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 you know, like, <laughs> we, we decided to die. Like, and then, uh, like, you know, the whole thing is like, <laughs> <laughs> and then we had, like, um, that <laughs> whole, like, uh, <laughs> is, is Egyptian yeah, yeah. character yeah. with Zabib <laughs> you know, like, So we. Um, so see, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're filling out the people you yeah. would expect to see in Yeah, And office. also, they all look awkward around each other in the, in the workplace, which is exactly how all workplaces are. Yeah. Everyone is there, everyone has a personality, but everyone's like awkward around everybody else. Yeah. Uh, the kid the was intern, there, Rayyan, oh, the Rayyan, intern, was it? The intern. The intern. Oh, doesn't give a yes, shit. I, I, yeah. Yes. Saad Aziz was perfect as well. Perfect. Yeah. Amen. If he, if he, if he, perfect. he has yeah. the lika, basically. Uh, there's a couple of clips that are on Shahid that were promotional clips. They were probably funnier than some of the episodes. Like one where he's, it's like, there's the point of discussion is a perfume, a scent. Okay. <laughs> like a scent of a perfume. Like Hana Somali in, in the character of Widat does this whole backstory uh, related to a perfume. And Sad is just like, 
<تصفيق> انا ليش فتحت فمي؟ ليش انا من اليوم رايح لا اسمع لا ارى لا اشم. The without character is the typical mubtatha, you know, like mm-hmm. comes in, you know, like uh, like right now, just like speaking English in the middle of Arabic, you know, Arabic. Uh, this was this was uh, this, this, this is what this boy doesn't quit. This boy uh, doesn't quit, bro. <laughs> there used to be more. So so this is this is what we were we were trying to introduce in that in that character, as opposed to like for example the Majda character, which is like typical. Mm. You know, serious. Uh, you know, uh, there's this. <laughs> episode of, yeah she gets she gets locked into uh, an elevator with Nidal and the whole like <laughs> yes. now, that's 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 something that scene is something <laughs> that's real yeah and what's uh, what's next for you I don't know what do you hope to do oh what do you what are you here's doing? the thing uh one thing that I wanted to achieve this year alhamdulillah I did was to be on uh, on Masamir County Okay, and Congrats. I did that. Mm, Congrats, Congrats on that, on that too. Thank you. I appreciate you want me to ask so, you a question that uh, we were discussing the last episode, but we didn't finish? Did you ask him to send me Not yet. Not yet. Oh, not you not fucking yet. asshole! I, I, I couldn't find time. I couldn't find time. Bro, I, I had a question when I finished season two. Okay. Right? I'm gonna fuck these guys. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Right? My question was, I finished season two with. It was bittersweet. Okay. When I turned on Masami Community season one, I knew exactly what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. I knew the deliveries. I knew exactly what they were going for. Season two felt more experimental. Okay. It was out of the norm of Masami. It wasn't like, it wasn't the typical style of Masami. Exactly. So yeah. like, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. From Some episodes were very slow. Yeah. Which is something not typical for Masami. Mm-hmm. You know, you had to let the story draw, draw out for you to understand like where this episode. is going. I don't remember which episode, which episode was it. Yeah, the bookstore episode. The bookstore episode. Was, that was actually a good episode, by the way. Yeah, that's that's probably writing wise is probably the best episode. Exactly. So this is what I'm looking at. It. I I had to when I finished that. I was looking. At it, I was like, Yo, is this me watching animation <clears throat> delivered in a different way now? Because. Before, like, you know, the story would tell itself. You get the jokes and tell where everything is going. Okay. But this one had to build. And I actually sat here for an hour watching a story built. There's like depth to it, basically. Um, what I think with this season, what Malik, Nijr, and Aziz Al-Mzani uh, realized was that Masamir doesn't have to be anything. It's ju- It just is. Okay. Uh, so what they were doing was trying to and I could totally relate to that they're trying to 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 change it up enough so that they don't get bored cuz the both of them were very creative yeah, you can see reading. it by especially the, season 2 season you see 2 is, how creative they are the 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 writing in season 2 is way more mature yes um the 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 it, the was, execution, sm- it was smarter writing also yes smart writing and the execution was way more Way different than anything they've done before. That's amazing. Um, artistically, it was it was also way more developed. Um, no, elevated from season one. Yeah, and and the th- uh, some of the episodes were like eleven minutes long. Yeah. Some of the episodes were like thirty five minutes long, and that uh, range that range of like uh, length and duration was also reflected in the writing it's, uh, itself. Some of the episodes were light. Some of them were like very heavy and cinematic like the bookstore episode um and some of them were just like tongue in cheek gags mm. like the outer outer space toilet episode it, it looked like to me it was them flexing the creative muscle yeah they're showing you where we could take this story wise yeah. and animation wise and the beauty of it is it's only six episodes i know actually um, that's not the beauty of it that's actually annoying as hell mm-hmm. because it takes, it takes it takes always time. amazing it takes but time. here's the thing the build here's the thing as a uh, as a creative myself, when when we we do stuff like this, to 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 keep you you know to leave with you wanting more as a consumer, is is a better position to be in than 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 you've been. Of fed course, up, it doesn't you know? be hungry for the next one. And you can't be in the middle. You can't. You either want to keep them wanting more 
Or you know, or you, you get you get them fed up. We we did two hundred and one episodes, bro. Like we don't care about the consumer. You guys don't care about the podcast in general. <laughs> yes. Basically, yeah. or each other. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah, you don't care about each other. You don't <laughs> yeah. care about the podcast. The care is not our vocabulary. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we hate like, each other. We like hate to the, the point podcast. where I'm pretty sure you guys are. Are doing this podcast? You're like, what are we doing? I don't know. Let's just, it's an opportunity for us to hate each other in public. Listen to yeah. me. Yeah, it's a you. platform for you guys to bully him. Exactly. Well, okay, with that, guests. No, no. Hold on. <laughs> First off, See, that's also he part brings of this to himself. Okay, yeah. that's why. Don't. At the same time, I'm gonna tell are you. Are you saying this. he's asking for it? Oh, all the time. I no. don't. All the time. That's victim right. shaming. I ask, I, ask nicely. <laughs> I will shame the shit out of him. <laughs> I don't care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, there is no shame here. There were so many times that we we pressed record with nothing in mind. But we got so used to doing an episode, they were like, yo, turn it on and we'll figure it out. Malik. And then we'll Shams would yeah. say something so fucking dumb. And from there, we built an hour episode. <laughs> Not knowing <laughs> how we went around this conversation. Because and and it was, basically, those episodes are like a basic, our best episodes. True. Because we're not like the way we're, we're talking prepped, to you, you know. We're yeah, not like none of us like yeah. we 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 know you from back in the day. We've seen your work. We've always seen your work. Unfortunately, we know we see you on. <laughs> we've seen you on stage. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, stage. Yeah, yeah that's, that's something I need to get back to. Yeah. Uh, that's something you need um, to stay away from, son. Okay, no. leave, leave it to the people who can do stage. Leave what? what? <laughs> yeah, 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 stand up no. comedy. Okay, I think I was. I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say. I mean, I mean, unless it's like something that's. An idea that's actually really, really intriguing. I wouldn't. No, know. no, don't do Dude, theater, don't. please. Don't no, do no, theater. no, no, okay. no, no. When's the last time you did stand up? Stand up. Four years ago. Four Ooh. years ago. Okay. Four but years. the thing is, with stand up, it's like riding a bicycle. It's not. It's not true. Yeah. Here, it, uh, uh, one thing I've I've already I've already started like developing a set that I might perform for uh, the comedy pod. Oh, I can't okay. wait! At some point, alert guys, button, man! <laughs> alert button! Okay. We need the alert button. Yeah. Uh, shout out, shout the out guys, to the comedy pod! Shout yeah, out man. to the comedy pod! They they, they these guys have like a, uh, they have, have created a platform. A it's like so fresh. Yes, and it kind of reminds me of the good old days, back when we used to do like stand up comedy shows for like 100, 200 people, and and it's it, it's it's taking it back to the golden era of like Al Comedy Club. You know, before it became mm. the club. When we went to it the first time, it was in this office building. It was in the middle of second somewhere. Floor. It was on the second floor. There's no label. We yeah. get in, there was shitload of seats and bad lighting yeah. and one microphone. And bad lighting and bad language. Exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. And Worst this language. is what we love so much about it is because yeah. it felt original. Authentic. No, it felt real. What I, what I loved about, uh, uh, what I love about the comedy pod is that everybody's so protective of it. Like the audience yes. that comes in every night or every week or so, uh, and the performers and the organizers, uh, it's like they're trying to make it the best kept secret. They even though it's shit. not really a secret. But actually it is. But it is. It still is. It is. It is somewhat secret. like- Because uh, you still tell people that there's actually a good comedy show every week at the other. And like, whoa, where? The beautiful yeah. thing about it is the fact is that if you know, you know. If if we didn't know Nawaf, Nawaf, we would never had an idea what comedy pod is. Yeah. He introduced us and he invited us there to go see it. Interesting. And then we went inside, like, oh shit. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Like, I know you guys like comedy. Oh, I know a place that has comedy. Yeah. That a lot of people do not know about. And then everybody that walks into that door, they're looking for the same thing. Yo, we yeah. want laughs, we want jokes, we want bad language. Just just deliver to us. Yeah. And yeah. that was the beautiful thing True. about it. And it's every week. Yeah. So everybody that's inside over there, then you know why you're there. And you're looking forward to it. You're not going to feel offended when there's a when yeah. No, no, you you're, already when know you're literally to going. Yeah. For exactly. It. Yeah. It's true. Unlike true. this dumbass podcast. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think at this point they know that they're going to get offended. Like every time they're going to get offended. Somebody's going to get offended. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Hopefully, everybody gets offended. Have we offended you today, Fahad? Not yet. Fuck. We need to try harder. <laughs> <laughs> this, is like what, what's, what's this? this is our farewell song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I should get lost. Yeah, okay. But, um, but, um, no, I'm, I mean, I haven't. I'm not offended yet. See, we need to try hard. Should help me. Should help me. We're not doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> if we yeah. haven't offended you yet. But seriously. But, we look forward to uh, what's coming up next. Amen. You oh, yeah, I, I mean, you've here, always been working, bro. Here's the thing: it's like uh, I would, I would, um, I would say that I know what I want to do next. Mm. If the what's next, like if 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 what's coming next in general, 
uh, was clear. But here's a, on on the on the front of filmmaking, yeah, TV, no. everything is just like so new all the time mm. that you're like, you find yourself somewhere. You find your, you'll find yourself somewhere. Um, like for example, like if you, if you were to ask me, what am I going to do next year? I'm like, maybe a film, maybe a TV show. I don't know. Um, is it going to be a comedy? Is it going to be, uh, 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 is it going to be a thriller? Is it going to be an action? Is it going to be a drama? I don't know. Mm. Like uh, it's, everything is just like so open now. Um, it's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. It it is a beautiful time. Like it started off with. You know, series like Rishash and Akhtitaf and like, you're like, oh, okay. These like new concepts that are coming out and that are being held by young people like me, you know, like they're, well, younger than me, but yeah, yeah like. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm young enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> new generation. Yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, and, and then, and then we start, you know, like uh, I got a call from like, you know, Fadl Ammar, let's do something like Khalat Plus and then you. See that you know gets to be like number one on Netflix for for like Saudi movies. I'm like, oh okay, so this works. Let's see what else we're gonna do. And Masamir County then becomes like number one in Saudi and in, in, in Saudi on TV. Like when it comes to TV shows on Netflix, and then you're like, okay, and then you see like Satar and Hamur Hain breaking box office numbers. Still number one. Box Still office. number one in the box office. It's like a, more I think, than a month. Five I think weeks. I think the last uh, it's seven the, it's eight the, months has been a great year. Yeah. True. So. I would, it, we're, we're still like discovering this new realm. So I can't really tell what I'm, what I'm going to do next, but I'm going to do something. I, I, I hope so. Well, look, when you were talking about how you have people that you love to compete with, uh, that is something that yes. has always kept you on your toes. Yes. And you're always working hard and you're always competing. As a writer, as an actor, as a comedian, there's a lot of, like there's people, there's this unsurmountable amount of people that I need to compete with. Mm. As long and as, I, I'm not saying as I, long, I need to compete with. As long as you have that hunger in you, you'll be good. You'll be good. There's hey, that you'll that hunger good. is across the board for for a lot of people, not just me. That's perfect. And and that here uh, we're because of that, things are gonna be coming up all the time. Bismillah. Yeah. We wish you guys all the best. Thanks. We we support you all blindly. You and everybody in this creative scene. Been I wouldn't do that if yeah. I were you, but yeah. Uh, no, no, not no, blindly. No, not blindly, we support you. You know yeah. why? Because we were the only ones that could talk shit to y'all. If <laughs> anything, we want y'all to do things. Yeah. Okay. Just do things. See, so. here's the thing. For us, uh, specifically in the comedy field, bullying is healthier than supporting. Amen. Oh, definitely. Yeah. The problem is a lot of people don't understand that when it's bullying or when it's an actual assault. Okay, because yeah, let's not get to the point where you know of, yeah. of assault. It's yeah. character. Yeah. It's character yeah. or verbal yeah, abuse. Exactly. Yes, exactly. But like you know, emotional uh, damage is good by that. By the way, emotional <laughs> damage. <laughs> I see assholes abound. Yeah. Anyway, we hope to ruin your lives in the future. Fahad, we appreciate hey, you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having. This is your Thank place. You the time you want to come through, honestly. And we look forward to what's coming up next for you, man. We wish you all the best. Hopefully, um, it's. Uh, I mean. I, I get to be. I uh, hopefully I get to be a part of of something really, really interesting and really creative at, at some point. Nobody cares. I'm just telling you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the set. And the comedy set. No one gives a I shit. I care. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you're by yourself <laughs> here, son. <laughs> but yeah, like um, I, I'm I'm really appreciative of all the the people I've worked with so far, and and all the people that have been putting out work nowadays that just like keeps us on our toes, and and I think it's just like. Uh, it's a very promising feature. This boy is me. hungry. Yeah, he just keeps thinking about the work. Yeah. He's just appreciative of everything. He's just hungry, bro. No, I respect, I respect, respect on that one. Respect. Um, You're literally telling everyone, yo, I see you even if you don't think I'm seeing you. I'm looking at you. So respect, respect. No, seriously, <laughs> respect. I mean, there's a lot of people doing a lot of amazing stuff nowadays. Yeah, respect to all of you. We, we, let me do... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so we what? get to have, you know, we get to have a lot of stuff to talk shit about. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Amen. Y'all are giving us the content. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Thank y'all. Anyway, we out? We out. Peace. 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 See ya.